Hey everyone, Pew Pew Dave here. The other day I came across a Huffington Post article. Now before you start asking me why I'm on the Huffington Post in the first place, I found the article through my daily Google alerts, so just chill, okay? The article is written by a guy named Mike Weiser, aka Mike the Gun Guy. Mike's a gun owner, but he's one of those gun owners that doesn't believe AR-15s and the like can be used for hunting. Spoiler alert, they can and are because facts. By the way, do any of you out there know uh, anyone like this? You know the type. People that believe the AR-15, AR-10 type rifles can only be used for killing people. How do you deal with these people? Let me know down in the comments below because I'd really like to know. Anyway, in short, the article is about how gun control proponents work with science and facts while people against more gun control, and I quote from Mike himself, couldn't care less about what the scientific evidence shows. He starts off by bringing up two groups of people. The people that are in favor of more gun control is what he calls gun sense nation because facts. And the people against more gun control is gun nut nation. Clearly anyone against more gun control must have some sort of mental disease, therefore they're a nut because science says so. He compares gun sense versus gun nut debate to the debate regarding vaccines and the people who are against vaccines, even though supposedly science and facts show that the threat of vaccines is either non-existent or very little. That's the vaccine debate in a nutshell. In essence, the GVP community, gun violence prevention community, faces the same issue every time they talk about gun violence as a public health problem because they run smack up against a response from gun nut nation, which has nothing to do with science or research or facts at all. He continues, how many peer reviewed articles have appeared in scientific medical journals over the last 50 years, which provide substantive data showing that access to guns increase the risk of getting shot or shooting yourself with a gun? Probably somewhere around 1000 articles, give or take a few. How many articles have appeared in scientific medical journals over the same time period which provide data supporting the idea that access to guns protects us from harm? None. That's another way of saying zero in case you didn't know. So when it comes to figuring out whether guns are a good thing or a bad thing or what I call the social utility of guns, the scientific evidence goes in only one direction. The research uniformly says one thing. The social costs of free access to firearms outweighs the social benefits, period, done. First, a personal opinion response. When I first read social utility and scientific evidence in the same sentence, I knew something was wrong. Something was off. Do you remember the Matrix trilogy? It referred to this as a splinter in your mind. And honestly, that's exactly what it felt like. After some time thinking about it, I was able to eventually dig that splinter out and figure out what exactly I found so disagreeable here. Let's assume for a moment that his conclusion is correct, that the social costs of guns outweigh their social benefits. Would I get rid of my guns? No, I wouldn't. Why? Because I do not care about society. Society is not my problem. If you're a returning subscriber or viewer, uh, then you may have seen the pictures behind me in some of my other videos. Those people, they are my problem. My wife, myself, my parents, my brother, my in-laws. My daughter isn't up there. She splattered on other walls around the house. Those people are my responsibility. They are my problem. They're the people that I have to care about. Now, I'm not saying that I wish any ill or misfortunes upon anyone. I don't like it when people are victimized. I don't even like it when criminals are shot in self-defense. I honestly want everybody to live long, happy lives. I really do. All I'm saying is that when it comes to my personal energy and resources, if you aren't 
one of those people on the wall of my house, you aren't getting a whole lot of either. Some of you may say, Dave, that's really selfish of you. And, and to that, I would respond, yes, I am. I am very selfish. And I'm not ashamed to admit that. One of the arguments that gun control proponents or gun censors, as I like to call them, use against carrying guns in public is that they aren't comfortable with the idea of a stranger using a gun to protect them. And that's perfectly fine. I don't care. I don't carry a gun for their benefit. They're on their own. So in short, society, you're not my problem and I don't care about you. With that out of the way, let's get back to the science and facts. First, a quick recap. How many articles have appeared in scientific medical journals over the same time period which provide data supporting the idea that access to guns protects us from harm? None. That's another way of saying zero in case you didn't know. Mike the gun guy is falling into the trap of absence of evidence is evidence of absence. There are plenty of examples where access to guns has benefited and helped protect people from harm. Let's look at two in detail. This first clip is one I like to exemplify on Twitter when I'm talking with gun censors. Two guys try holding up an internet cafe. Guy in the back isn't having it, pulls out his own gun, and shoots at the two thugs. Look how they scurry away like cockroaches. One guy literally tramples over his own supposed partner. If it weren't for the fact that they just got done threatening to murder every person in that cafe, it would make for great comic relief. Here's another example of a woman in Georgia. She shoots on three guys that broke into her house, each of them armed with a gun. Look on the left side in the back. The guy is so scared he doesn't even slow down to open the door. He crashes right through it. Unfortunately, Two of these thugs did end up dying. And let's not ignore the dozens of accounts recapped in every issue of Concealed Carry magazine. These people's access to guns absolutely helped protect them from harm. It happened. That's fact. But Mike the Gun Guy says people like me, you know, mentally ill gun nuts, ignores science and facts. So I'll entertain him and pretend to ignore the following facts. These two guns don't fire the same exact round out of the same exact magazines at the same exact rate of fire at the same exact level of accuracy. One of them is incapable of accepting so-called high capacity magazines. One of these Ruger Mini 14s isn't considered an assault weapon while the other is considered a standard rifle. They don't both fire the same exact round out of the same exact magazines at the same exact rate of fire at the same exact level of accuracy. One of them is incapable of accepting so-called high capacity magazines. Nick's background checks aren't increasing while nationwide levels of violent crime and murder and non-negligent manslaughter are dropping towards the lowest levels in nearly 20 years. Mike the Gun Guy closes with this. The people who promote free access to guns, who want everyone to walk around with a gun, couldn't care less about what the scientific evidence shows. So Gun Sense Nation better figure out some messaging which can respond to how Gun Nut Nation feels about their guns. Because talking about gun violence by citing this or that scientific study works fine when you're talking to someone who believes in science and facts. But what happens when you find yourself in a discussion about gun violence with someone who believes that Martians really did land in Area 51? Mike the Gun Guy says that there's no evidence that access to guns protects us from harm. How much evidence and facts does Mike the Gun Guy have that proves that access to guns doesn't protect us from harm? Just as much as he has that proves that Martians didn't land at Area 51, which is none. That's another way of saying zero, in case you didn't know. That's it for today, everyone. Click on my little guy to subscribe and be sure to turn on notifications so you know exactly when I upload new videos. Click on the other side to check out my other videos. And if you did like this video, please be sure to check out my rebuttal video on Australian gun control and let me know what you think about it. I'm Pew Pew Dave, and as always, thanks for watching.